Hey guys and welcome to another tutorial. It's become apparent to me that the basic skill of knowing how to fix your own kit is lacking in today's armed forces. In this tutorial, I'll quickly show you how to perform basic repairs to your uniform. First off, you'll need a sewing needle, your correct color thread, a pair of scissors, your damaged clothing, and then pins, but they're optional. For this initial teach, I'll be using paracord and scissors in replacement of thread and needle for ease of demonstration purposes. Firstly, ensure you have the correct length. To be sure of this, take a little more thread than you think you'll need. Generally, twice as much is good. Once you've cut the correct length, bring the ends together so you've folded the thread in half. After bringing the thread in half, thread your needle through one end and place it at the other end. Making sure that you've cut the thread in half, tie on at the end. In this case, I'm using a reef knot, however you may find you need a larger knot for your fabric. The knot is used as an anchor and will stop the thread pulling through as you'll see later on in the video. For this step, I'm using a piece of paper with the holes already punched into it to represent the fabric and you'll also need to visualise that the scissors are still attached as the needle. Start by threading through the side that won't be seen, that is, the inside of the clothing. Pull the needle all the way through until the remainder of the thread hits the knot and stops. If it doesn't stop, just tie a bigger knot. From there, repeat the process until you reach the last part you need to stitch together. The final stitch will be from the good side, through the fabric, and out the not seen side. This will ensure that the stitch looks neat on the visible side. To finish it off neatly, you should be working on the not seen side. From here, go underneath the last stitch you did, forming a loop. Before pulling tight, go through that loop and then pull it tight. Repeat the process one more time to tie it off. If you're unsure if it'll hold, or have an excessive amount of thread that you don't want to waste, Repeat the process a few more times to increase the strength. When you're done, cut the thread close to the knots on both ends to neaten it up. You can use this method for sewing items on, stitching rips and tears back together, attaching buttons and pretty much any other hasty repair that you need to do. As always, hope this was educational and that you all learned something. Like and subscribe and share with your mates and I'll see you all next time.